Hi guys, welcome to Mort's Home Kitchen. So today I'm going to show you how to make the most fantastic chicken stew recipe you'll ever try. Not only is it packed full of flavor, but it's also Barack Obama approved. That's right, the former president himself can't resist this delicious dish. So if you're ready to take your taste buds on a journey they will remember, then stick around and I'm going to show you step by step how to make this delicious dish. Now folks, I'm just making enough stew here for two, but if you want to double or triple the recipe, you can. So I'm going to take one and a half pounds of chicken pieces. I've just used chicken legs that I'm going to chop, which will give me a bit of a thigh and some drumsticks. And then I'm going to just set them to the side while we get our vegetables ready. So in, for our vegetables, you're going to need one diced onion, four cloves of crushed garlic, two carrots that have been sliced, one red chilli that has been chopped with the seeds in it, three stalks of celery which have been finely chopped, and one tablespoon full of finely chopped roast. Now over to a large pan and onto a medium heat, we're going to add one tablespoon full of olive oil, and then we're going to place the chicken pieces in, skin side down, and we'll cook them for three to four minutes until they start to brown. Now we'll season those liberally with some salt and some freshly ground black pepper. I do it when it's in the pan because it also helps to season the oil for cooking the vegetables later. Now after the chicken's taken on a bit of colour, we're just going to flip it over and we're going to brown the other side. And again we'll season the back with some salt and some pepper. This will help to season the chicken and to keep the oil flavoured. Now after our chicken's been browned on both sides, we're just going to take it, remove it and set it on a plate while we prepare the vegetables. Now folks if you're enjoying my videos please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and watch to the end for further videos. So now in the same pan we're going to sweat the vegetables, add the diced onion, the chopped celery, the sliced carrots and we're going to cook that for about 4 to 5 minutes just until they're starting to soften. Just keep moving them around so that they don't burn. Try and scrape the font off the bottom of the pan. Now once they're softened to that we're going to add the chopped garlic, 200 grams from a tin of chopped tomatoes. We're going to give those a stir just until the tomatoes heat up. Now to this then we're going to add one tablespoon of plain flour and we're going to cook that for a further two minutes. Now to that then we're going to add one bay leaf, 300 millilitres of good quality chicken stock, the chopped chilli, the chopped rosemary and one teaspoon of dried thyme. Now we'll just give that a quick stir around and then we're going to add the chicken pieces. So we'll just return the chicken pieces to the pan, making sure that they're well coated and don't forget to take the juice from the plate because that is full of flavour. Now we're going to decrease the heat to low, we're going to pop the lid on and we're going to cover it and let it cook for 45 to 60 minutes. So now that our chicken is cooked and the vegetables are softened, we're going to check for seasoning. Now I just felt that this needed a little more salt and pepper and then it was just perfect. So now it's time to serve. Now just before service I'm going to add about 6 or 8 basil leaves in just to give it that extra little bit of flavour. Stir them in just until they're wilted. Now folks I've just served mine with some boiled rice but these go really well with mash or with uh, boiled potatoes. So now you've just learned how to make a smooth watery meal that will impress your friends and family. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll come back for more of our cooking adventures. If you want some more of our recipes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. And as always, happy cooking.